but maybe to come back to today's situation, as David said, it's now more difficult to mm. speak about the situation of hostage families. And we also see, this is a painful question to ask, but we also see now mounting the denial in, in Western countries, in European countries, about what happened on the 7th of October. We already have people denying the fact that this was a terrorist attack. <laughs> and and what, what we are now seeing is people in European capitals tearing posters with the images of hostages on it. Um, and there is a pretext that, that the situation in the Gaza Strip is uh, terrible. Uh, there is a will to destroy the very memory of the people who are now uh, being kept in, in custody. What, what kind of answer would you give to these people who are now trying to make invisible the situation of your loved ones and, and trying to deny the fact that what is now currently continuing to happen is, of course, a terrorist uh, situation uh, under which innocent civilian lives are being threatened and, and, and retained? Uh, in two words, to those people, educate yourself. Because those comments, those chants, <coughs> the ripping of the posters, those are uneducated people who got indoctrinated into hating Israel without reason. 90% of them, I'm sure, have never visited the country. And they, all they know is from the media and, and social media, which is the worst kind of way to learn something. So I'm telling them, educate yourself. Come and visit Israel. Learn about the history. Open a textbook, not TikTok video. A textbook and read about the history. This region is complicated. We are not telling that everything is paradise and flowers and, and peace. And... But visit Israel. Educate yourself. S speak to first first person who, who've been there on October 7. A and then, if you are still against us, then there is no hope for you. You will hate Jews, you are anti-Semitic. But for those who are just uneducated, please do a research, educate yourself, and not from TikTok. Hmm. Um, I want to add. In this region, we all believe in coexistence. Yeah. We all believe in peace, that we can live together. For many years, uh, in our family business, uh, four workers from Gaza were supposed to start working for, for, with us on the 8th of October. 